Hello and welcome to this new tutorial in our Blender Tutorials series. In this tutorial, we are going to create a stretchy bonds system to help us achieve this animation result. A project file will be attached in the description below. Let's get started. Here inside Blender, we have our mesh, then this pre-made skeleton. Notice there is a lot of bones spread it all around the unicorn's body, hair, and tail. Let's just solo the body and the armature, and then I'm going to make it a child of the armature with automatic weight. Now if we go to pose mode, notice that I can manipulate the mesh right now. But here, if I want the armature to make a stretch for the body, then I want to move this. If I hit G, I won't move it. It won't move at all. And if I grab this one and hit G again, notice it won't move any further, so I can't make a stretch out of this. Same thing goes here. If I hit G, nothing happens. It only responded to the rotation. And actually, I don't want it to be like this. I want it to be stretched. Plus, there are so many bones to connect. So we are going to try another method using stretchy bones. So I'm going to reset everything here. Then I will clear this one parent and unsolo everything. I'm going to hide this skeleton. And now I'm going to add my own rig using bendy bones or stretchy bones. And we'll start right away with selecting the body. In the edit mode, I want to select this portion holding come option or alt and we'll move 3d cursor selected then i will add my first bone add armature and single bone make it always in front and let's display the names now i'm going to move it right over here and in the edit mode I'm going to scale it down. Now I'm going to start draw and add bones to emulate the shape of this unicorn. So I'm going to extrude this right around here. Then extrude another small bone. Extrude again. Another small one. Extrude again. Another small one, extrude again, and another small one. Let's refine this. Now I'm going to duplicate this for the head. I'm gonna make a small one here, a big one here and another small one right there i'm now going to extrude this to hold this portion of the body and to extrude this as well to hold this portion of the body now i'm going to duplicate but let's say for the leg, I'm going to select this edge loop or that one. Yeah, let's make it here. I will move 3D cursor to it. Then I will, in the edit mode, I will duplicate this. Then I'm going to add selection to cursor. 
then I'm going to make a small one here, then extrude a big one, then smaller, big, and then small again. And same thing goes right here for the front one. Now what I'm going to do is to re-link everything so i'm going to make this bone is the controller of these so it control this already this one to control everything here just i want to make this one connected to this so control p and keep offset now let's connect this one to this one Keep offset and impose mode now. You can connect us. This one in the edit mode. Keep offset. And this one. Keep offset. Now, what I'm going to do is to change the viewport to B bones. Notice it's so thick. So I'm going to select all and go to bone. I'm going to hold option or alt and decrease this and this to be like 0.5. Now I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to make a segment of 20. Then I'm going to edit this bone right here to be, to match the body curve. Kinda. Right there. This one as well. Then moving to this one. Now for the legs. Now I want every subdivided bone right here to be stretched to the next bone to it, which will be the controller. So I want this one to be stretched to this one. So when I grab this, it will stretch the bone. So the first step I'm going to do is to disconnect this from everything. So in here, in the relations, I want to disconnect the bone. This one as well. I want to delete every connected bone to it. This one. And this one as well. This one. And this one. And lastly, this one. And this one. Now, to maintain the shape again, notice if I move this, it's not connected to the bone it needed to be stretched. So I'm going to grab this one and I will choose start handle to be absolute, end handle to be absolute, and then choose the start handle to be the bone above, the end handle to be the bone below, or the bone before and after, like this one 
let's change both to absolute then the bone before is this the bone after is this and so on absolute for both then the start bone and the end bone Now for the constraints. I will go to pose mode now. Select this one. Bone constraints and add a stretched two. I will select the armature first. Then I will select the bone it needed to be stretched to which, it, which is this one. Now when I grab this, notice it's stretching and connecting this. Let's do same process here, add constraint, stretch to, select the armature, then the bone. Same thing goes here. Armature first, then the bone it needed to be stretched to. And same thing here. Same thing for the legs. Let's test the rig. So if I rotate this, it's not connecting with this one. So what I'm going to do is to go back to edit mode and set parent, keep offset. Now if I go to pose mode, this one is going to connect notice it's not connecting this one so what i'm going to do is to connect this to this you need to be in edit mode select this one and this one control p keep offset now if i go to pose mode this one is going to control this this is going to control this and this is going to stretch this. Okay, it's not working. Yes, we didn't select it. So select this one. Now it's stretching, and if you rotate, it will rotate, and so on. Now this one is controlling everything here. This one is controlling everything here, but it's not controlling this one, so move to edit. I will make this a child of this. Keep offset. Same thing goes here. This one is going to be a child of this one. Keep offset. Now if I go to pose mode, this one, sorry, this one is controlling all the above. Even if rotate, this one is controlling everything in the front portion of the unicorn so i'm going to make same thing here since this one is controlling these but i want to make them linked with each other so i'm going to select in edit mode this one to be child to this one and this one to be child of this one. So if I move to pose mode, this is going to connect all of these. Same thing goes here. This one is already connecting perfectly, but if we go to pose mode, uh, to edit mode, sorry, we want to make this one to be connected to that and the leg to each other. And now, if I go to pose mode, this one is going to move all of these. Now let's test it. If I select this and this solo, then I'm going to hit 
control V with automatic weights. Now, if I move into pose mode, notice we are stretching and everything is perfectly aligned. We can control every single thing, rotation and location of every single bone of these. Now, let's select all, reset everything, and to make things easier, I want to add a widget for the bones. Instead of the manual method, there is a very easier way using a free add-on called Bone Widget. All I have to do is to move to pose mode, select, for example, this one, since it's a main controller and I can choose the shape I want let's say I want it to be a circle if I hit create it will replace the bone with this widget circle I can increase the size to be the size of the unicorn and I can select this one and create a circle for this as well. It will remember my last scale. Now let's say I want controllers for the legs. Let's add a sphere, create, scale it. Now I want this one to be sphere as well. this one to be sphere as well now for this one let's say i want it to be a cube hit create it's very big let's make it smaller now if you select all of these notice it's a little bit um thick so I want to select all of these widgets or custom shapes and I will move to bone properties and here in wire width I will hold alt or option and decrease this now it's thinner now if you want you can for the body for example you can choose a bone color hold Alt or Option and choose any color you want. And I want a different set of colors for the leg. So I'm going to hold Alt and choose, for example, blue. And here you go. Now you can select this and start moving and animating. You can select this. And there you have it. This method, I controlled everything here in the unicorn, like this, is controlling all of these. In the tail, uh, I used regular bones, not too fancy bendy bones, since it's one, it's not needed. And for the hair here as well. For the horn, we have like this guy. You can always control it. And here it's controlling the front hair as well. Here it's controlling the hair as well. And so on for the rest of the body. very less bones and a whole new possibilities so there you have it hope to see you in the next one